Hey there, my name is Kyle Grossmiller. I'm a senior solutions engineer here at Pure Storage. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the plumbing. You know, how do you connect Azure VMware solution to cloud block store? So we're gonna go over network topology and how we actually connect up everything for those who are curious. So to start on the Azure VMware solution side, just to level set in terms of how AVS itself networking is handled with that, you provide something like a Dash 22 network when you build an Azure VMware solution cluster. Now AVS uses that network internally. It basically slices it up for services like storage vMotion, vCenter management, ESXi hosts, you know, all of the all of the traditional core VMware services are automatically provisioned and created when that Azure VMware solution cluster is initially built. Now, in addition to that, it uses a product called VMware NSXT. NSXT is what basically controls and directs and allocates for east-west and north-south traffic within your AVS public cloud. It also allows it to reach out uh, to a customer's uh, vir Azure virtual network. Uh, through express route, something we call express route. Now that express route circuit can extend out to a customer VNet. It can also extend out to another Azure VMware solution instance, or it can connect to an on-premises environment through something called express route global reach. A lot of different options there, but again, for the sake of this video, we're just telling you how Azure VMware solution connects up to an, an Azure-based cloud block store instance. Okay, so once that, so in order to establish this connection, there's a couple of really important recommendations that, that we make in order to make this solution as performant as possible. Obviously, the first thing that you're going to need on your VNet, and this is the same VNet, obviously, where your Cloud Block Store instance resides, is you're going to need a gateway subnet. Now, that gate, gateway subnet is important because we're going to, connect that up to a virtual network gateway. Now, when you go to deploy that virtual network gateway, it's extremely important from a performance perspective that you place it in the ultra SKU. That ultra SKU is going to enable wider and more bandwidth connections between AVS and Cloud Block Store via NSXT. Right, so ultra SKU, really important. So that'll take about an hour to create that vir virtual network gateway in the ultra SKU. Um, when it's created, you'll actually get an express route connection key from the AVS console. And when you go to actually wire these two things up together, there's also an option within that connection wizard within the virtual network gateway called FastPath. So that's a checkbox that you're gonna make within within that virtual network ga gateway when you establish the CBS and NSXT connectivity. And again, that, that's what enables virtual machines in AVS to more or less directly connect out to Cloud Block Store, an underlying storage device. Thanks again for checking out the network topology video between Azure VMware Solution and Cloud Block Store. As you can see, there's a couple of best practices here, but we think that properly in implementing these best practices will lead you to having the best possible user experience. Thanks again.